So we know that we can train our shins. We know that we can train our feet. We know that we can train our calves. We can train all the muscles around the knee to make the knee better. But for some reason, when it comes to diet and nutrition, we really haven't thought about or explored. We just take drugs for it. We just always take drugs for it, especially oh. us meathead bodybuilders, very guilty of that. I'll just take a shot of insulin. You know, I'll just, I'll right. take metformin. But yep. what about actually training your insulin sensitivity instead of taking uh, a, a glucose disposal agent or whatever it might be? I don't recall this ever happening before. I don't recall there being a time in history where somebody was like, hey, with this fructose, we can actually target T3 and T4. Yep. Hey, with this fructose, we can actually train some insulin sensitivity. And again, our luck can run out. Like you could do this too long to where you break the system down and where you mess yourself up. But if you're doing it in a lot of the ways that I'm sharing, in a lot of the ways I'm mentioning, and you're intentionally breaking that sugar fast periodically, your diet should have a really wide range of food and it should be very, very healthy. And eventually you wanna probably get yourself to a position where maybe you're only sugar fasting like a couple times a month.